What's up dudes, Holdfast here, and welcome back to the Overcast Network. We're standing in front of the Project Airy sign for one specific reason. Today we're going to be getting back into something that I started looking at um, a long time ago, or a few months ago actually, is uh, looking more into uh, certain servers and their updates. And right now, I feel like I belong to this server as I did a few months ago as well. So I want to bring you guys a very specific update to the server, which I think is very cool. Um, on some maps, you will now notice, let's jump into Race for Victory 3, I believe this one has one, if I can connect to it. Yes, so now when you join certain maps, you will notice the green emerald sitting right here. Well, I guess it's just the emerald. Um, and these emeralds signify that this map has a tutorial implemented in the XML, which is very cool, very cool indeed. Um, I believe, as of right now, I only know of Race for Victory 2 and 3, I believe, have this implemented. I'm not sure of any others. But we can take a quick look at how the system works. It's very cool. Um, just left click that and then you are automatically put into the tutorial as you can see over here. Introduction. You're currently spectating the game and cannot interact with other players. Right click to learn about this map. So we're going to get right into it and just kind of take a look to see what this tutorial brings us. Um, so if we right click that again. Brings us a little information down here. Capture the wool. This map is a capture the wool CTW map. The objective is to grab the wool on the other team's side and return it to your base. Very simple. Oops. Kind of shows you the different uh, wool rooms and stuff like that and where the bases are. Right click again. Capture the wool. Blue team base. This is the blue team base. You spawn with with gear ready to go into battle. You can use the water portals on either side to quickly exit the base. The chest contains extra supplies to help you build defenses or bridge to the enemy side. Very cool, so this is the blue team. This is where you spawn if you've never played this map before. Uh, there's a few random supplies in here like chests and pistons and stuff like that. Um, if you do need iron, I don't know if this tutorial will show this, but if you need iron, you come up here and uh, grab three blocks of iron and turn that into ingots and craft your armor and hopefully a bucket as well because you I suggest building a bucket as well um, so that is that part green base iron supplies here's the iron supply for the blue team note that the red team has the same thing on their side you can craft iron armor to prepare yourself for battle so there you go just like I said you can prepare right there grab a bunch of iron and uh, craft yourself some goody goody armor and uh, what's next next is red wool rooms red wool rooms these are red Red team's wool rooms using lime, pink, and orange. Blue team has purple, yellow, and cyan wools. Red team should defend the team the should defend these rooms against blue team's invaders who are trying to steal the wool and make it back alive. There are special goodies inside that will help you with your fight on your way out. So if we go, hopefully we can take a look actually in. I don't know what's the victory one. Okay, so inside here, um, this is only a obviously only the um, attacking team can get in here, the defending team cannot get in at all. Once you come in, there's usually, in most wool rooms, there's a golden chest plate, infinity one, bow punch one, and some golden apples, and usually there's some potions. I don't think there are... If there are, they're up... Oh, what's in here? This is just the wool in the middle. Some red wool in there. Um, let's see if there's any potions in here. I don't think there's any potions in this one. If there is, then I am clearly mistaken, and I apologize. Um, but it's very cool that this tutorial brings you through each little room and shows you how exactly to play the map. Um, let's take a look at the Victory Monument. Victory Monument. This is one of the three, one of the three of Blue Team's Victory Monuments. The three colored wolves from the Red Team's wool rooms must be placed in the Victory Monuments for the match to end. Note that the Red Team has three identical Victory Monuments for their respective wolves. So when you grab the pink wool, if you have it and you run it back, you just right click it in there, place it right there, and it'll automatically show up over here that you have captured the pink wool. And this just happens to be the one that the team does not have currently, which is pretty cool. And there's obviously, this is a, uh, a wool room here where you capture wool. So this is the uh, blue team's wool room, one of them. Uh, what's next? I finish. All right. Now that you know all about the map, go play. Join a team by typing slash join or using the team selection book in your inventory. Learn more about the plugin by reading the how-to guide. Check out additional perks at oc.tc slash shop. Have fun. So that's a, a kind of a quick look at the new tutorial system. Um, I expect to see this in 
most new maps, I hope to see this in most new maps, it's very cool for new players, people that have never played it before, I hope that there's kind of, I'm glad that it's in the first um, pop bar when you first get in to, I believe it's team selection, yeah right there. So any new players will automatically see that, learn how to play this map, pretty cool, um, I hope that lots of people use that because you see a lot of times people don't know how to play and just kind of ask questions, spam the chat, or just run around killing people looking for what to do uh, or attacking their own wolverines which is always fun uh, but yeah very cool addition indeed by overcast network and i hope to see more of that implemented throughout the rest of the server and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy i hope you enjoy um kind of what we have to bring you for from the overcast network i'm, I'm hoping to bring up more of these more videos like this because i do enjoy this stuff a lot and clearly a lot of my subscribers don't care much for some mini games, so we're going to take a look at the Overcast Network because I love this place and I hope you guys do too. So thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.